video. As you guys know, I am liquid lipstick obsessed. Like the obsession is real. So today I wanted to do a lip swatch video of the brand new Sonic Clay or Cosmetics Kiss Proof Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I am obsessed with them. They come in six beautiful colors and I have five to show you. So I thought, what better way than to slap them on the skin? I love these liquid lipsticks because they go on with a gloss texture, which is really different to most liquid lipsticks. I don't have another formula like this. But then they do dry completely matte really quickly, but the glossy texture makes them really, really easy to apply, so it's kind of foolproof. They are also completely transfer resistant. I mean like mwah, 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 transfer resistant, like nothing comes off. Once they dry matte, they truly stay, and they are not super drying on the lips, nor do they flake off or get that inner kind of flaky dry thing that some liquid lipstick brands do. I can't stand that. I just want to put it on and not think about it. And these do exactly that. And they are 100% cruelty free. Sana Chlori Cosmetics does not test on animals at all, which is another really, really great fact. So I will leave all the links below to where you can purchase these. But I just want to show you them on the lips and show you the shades and talk about my favorites. This one here, duh, is one of my favorites. I think everyone is going to love this shade and go crazy for it. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you want some more lip swatch videos and I will still be doing my battle of the liquid lipstick videos. These will be included with a bunch more brands later in November. I'm just waiting on a few things. So that is coming, but I thought in the meantime, I would share with you guys my new fave. So yeah. So this shade on my lips here is Vintage Mauve. This one has one of the best formulas out of the bunch. It is opaque in one coat and it is really, really creamy and smooth. You get full pigmentation and it is just this gorgeous everyday nude mauve color that everyone loves to wear right now. It's like a dusty rose. I always gravitate to colors like this so I think this is my absolute favorite in the whole line. This next shade right here is called Nude Goddess and this one is a really, really nude shade. Although it is a warmer nude, it's got your peachy under tones so it will look really great on warm skin tones however it is very very nude on me I would wear this with a lip liner although for the purpose of this video and these lip swatches I just applied it straight from the tube with no liner it is very opaque but I did two coats just for full opacity one coat will be a little bit less dramatic than this it does dry down completely to matte so as you can see I can touch my lips and nothing will come up it's completely kiss proof for me I feel weird wearing something this nude I would only usually wear something this nude with a super dramatic eye but I do think I don't know, maybe I can get away with it. You guys can be the judge. This next shade here is Caramello, and this is a really cool on-trend shade, and the consistency of this one is amazing. It is super smooth, just like the vintage mauve. This one is kind of like that stone grayish nude color with a little bit of mauve in it, but it's definitely got a gray tone. For some reason, look colors like this make me think of chinchillas and stones and murky muddy water, but it's like in the prettiest way. So I really like the way this looks on. It's edgy, it's cool, it's a really gorgeous fall color, and I know a lot of people love these kind of stony colors. This next one here is another absolute favorite of mine. It's probably tied for first with Vintage Mauve and it is Velvet Apple. This is the perfect deep red whiny cranberry color. It is absolutely freaking gorgeous and this was really easy to apply. I did do two coats to get this opacity but I liked that the first coat was a little bit thinner because I could really line my lips really precisely without it being messy because it is a liquid lipstick and sometimes red liquid lipsticks can be hard for me to apply anyway, but this one was really easy. Colors like this just make me feel like a boss ass chick. Like I love these kind of colors. So this is hands down my favorite. This is a newer shade and again, it's Velvet Apple. The shade here is a little bit crazy. This one is a blue liquid lipstick called Blueberry Stiletto, which is such a cute name, I think. And it actually does look like a bright blueberry. I don't know, it reminds me of the blueberries in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. This was a little bit sheer on the first coat, so I did two coats to even everything out. You can do one coat, and then when you go on with the second coat, it doesn't pull off the first coat. It doesn't make it start flaking or become too thick and goopy like a lot of other brands do. I don't think I can pull off blue lipstick, but I think it is super, super cool. And more power to everyone that can, but the formula on it is really good. I thought it was gonna be a nightmare to apply especially evenly around my lips and it actually wasn't it's different it's cool it's funky and it is blueberry stiletto 